Welcome to Winter. This is the welcome screen for Winter. The cat eyes blink. They also change colors. Just click on them. The welcome screen allows you to customize it to a certain extent. You can move these icons around the screen and arrange them as you see fit. Just grab right here where the double lines are and you can move this set of icons wherever you like. I'm going to put it back so I like it on this side. And you can do that with this set as well. You can move these down or up or wherever you'd like them. At the bottom of the screen is the Proket News box. It will change periodically and new news and information will be posted here. So check on it when it changes for the latest news. Now a tour of the icons. The first one in the top left is the Read Utility. This will need to be set up to your writer and then when you are ready to use it you click on it and your writer setup is ready to go and you'll be able to read your notes in with one click instead of going to production, read, and then trying to find your writer from this list, preset up, and then all you have to do is click on the read button. The next button down is the translator button. It will take you into the translator where you can select translate into real time. It will take you into the translator where you can select to translate in real time or by steno that you have read via the read utility. The next button is the editor where you will do all of your editing, scoping, exporting to ASCII, RTF, PDF, and the like. More in-depth videos for editing are available in this tutorial. Next is the dictionary maintenance. Here you can add outlines to your dictionary, edit others, and delete still others. This is a feature-rich module. Check out the other tutorials on it. The next button is the archive and retrieval wizard. This allows you to back up files, multiples if you want, burn them to CD, send via email, or via a cloud service. See the tutorial on this subject. On the right side of this welcome screen are the miscellaneous utilities. StenoScan allows you to view raw steno and then split out portions, add dictionaries if needed before translating, and also print your notes to PDF. Check out the tutorial on this subject. The spelling dictionary which is our next icon, allows you to maintain your spell checking dictionary. If you should put in a word that is misspelled, you would be able to find and correct that mistake. The next is the macro editor. This is used in case a macro needs an extra step inserted or modified in some way. Next is the phonetic e editor. In this editor, you may set your phonetic theory up so that your global suggestions match your given theory. Check out the phonetic editor tutorial. Preferences. This is where you get to set up your writer for the read utility, set your audio recording preferences, as well as editor colors. Add new user. This allows you to add a new user in the case that you may be working for different agencies that need different layouts and different dictionary formats. This will also allow you to switch between users after you've created the new one. The page layout wizard allows you to create multiple layouts for multiple agencies depending on their requirements. This is the RTF export utility used for older formats of winter files and other CAT software versions. At the top of the welcome screen is the welcome tab. This is the welcome area. The case tab allows you to manage your files into cases and also move files for convenience and deleting as well as renaming files. The next tab over is the Steno tab. It allows you to preview Steno and also lets you send to any external media that is connected to the computer. You may also delete and set the case name. The transcript tab allows you to preview the transcript. See the date that it was created, the date that it was modified, number of pages, and if a case name has been assigned to it. When you click on the job, then you see the preview in the window to the right. The Dictionary tab allows you to see all of your dictionaries, when they were created 
and modified and file size. You may also delete multiple dictionaries from this tab. If I want to delete from here to here, I might click on the first one, press and hold my shift key, click on the last one, right click and delete files and it will delete all of these dictionaries. You may also copy them out to any external media and set a case to it if you want. When you click on a dictionary then the window to the right gives you a lot more details than what you may see here. For instance I have selected my main dictionary or personal. So in this particular case I have 63,165 entries. Of those 63,165, 63,064 are unique. I have 101 conflicts and the average stroke per entry is 1. So definitely a brief dictionary. The Wave tab allows you to preview audio. You may fast forward, turn it up, rewind, pause, play, and just so you can see that you may also right click on them and delete, send to any external media, or set the case for them. The tutorial tab allows you to view all tutorials available. This is a great place to learn new time-saving features for, for editing and real-time. I hope this helped and I'll see you in my next tutorial.